Today we're going to be using the old meta strategy, Darling Sniper Ninja. If you guys have not heard that this strategy, this strategy was been created since Battles 2 has been fully released. So in today's video, we're going to try to test that out and see how good is the old meta strategy is going to be. But this time, I'm actually going to be bringing the hero Exili because I don't know if the Exili plus with that, it's going to help out by going Epic Laking with Darling Sniper Ninja in it. And hopefully this might be pretty a good game against the opponents, all right? But anyway, if you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and also make sure you smash the like button if you have not already, alright? Anyway, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Alright boys, we got this map Mayan, which is definitely a good map just to try it out. So for that being said, we're going to start by going for the Darling Gunner. And we're going to be using the strategy Darling, Sniper, and Ninja. If you guys could tell that the strategy, this strategy is definitely the most oldest meta strategy inside of the game here. Because if you guys haven't heard about the strategy, that strategy was been created since back in December 2021, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but since this strategy was definitely pretty dominant because of that, people could decide to go for sniper farms very, very hardly though, as you can here. So once you get a lot of sniper farms all over the entire map, it'll be easy for you to go ahead and get so much money to get a lot of better defense faster, get up to the Hydro Rocket Pots or something, or go for the MAD. Because I think the MAD is definitely quite worth it when you use the when you use the, the uh, supply drop ability or whatever the case may be then the better way you want to get so much money then you might want to go ahead and get a lot of ton of monies as you can here so once you get a lot of money in the back then i think this might be the better way just to try to go ahead and um able to go for a lot of better defense as you can here so once you get so much better defense for every small amount of darling cyber ninja or whatever the case may be then you might be able to defend the all-out fortified bats but i'm afraid you cannot in this persian update because the sniper plus with the supply drop or whatever the case may be they nerfed it plus with the ninjas i don't know what they did to the ninja and darling as of before because i heard that the darling plus with the sniper ninja in it they nerfed it like a little bit too hard um, because of that, you cannot, like, go for a sniper farms quite fast enough because of the 20 second cooldown. So, that's what you need to do is you want to start ecoing, like, a lot recently. So, once you have so much eco for the better egg sanity here, to be honest, then I think the better way you want to get is to go ahead and go epic legging with darling sniper and ninja or whatever the case may be but once you get so much money then you might want to go ahead and go for a lot of better defense as you can here so once we get a lot of better defense then we want to go ahead and go for the better sanity here so that's pretty good news here uh, but this guy went for two darn gunners and also don't forget guys his hero is benjamin so this is definitely gonna be quite hard because apparently we don't have a generator lines unfortunately so we have to try our best just to go ahead and go for we need to go ahead and go for all the way to round 50 because apparently when you go all the way to round 40, if I end up leaking down like a little bit of low lives or something, then I will lose to round 40 because there's like nothing I could do here because I don't have a generator lives uh, for my towers. Also with the Exili because I know I didn't bring Smudge Cat for some reason. So that's why I wanted to bring uh, maybe the normal Exili for the good old good old totals buff here i think because i i heard that exili is probably going to be way better though than smudge i mean i don't know if people rather say that smudge is way better than normal exili but i'm not too sure if people decide to go ahead and go for the for the better start here to be honest but it is what it is man um but yeah hopefully we're gonna keep on equaling a lot recently because i know we do have a lot of money advantage here with the strategy so hopefully that's okay though because i need to go ahead and go for another darn gunner as we can so once we go for another darn gunner up for the yellows then hopefully we'll be good with this so um i'm pretty sure this guy knows what he's up to but it is round nine by the way so hopefully this might be this might be pretty intense here because i need to go for the hydro rocket pods right about now so once we get the hydro rocket pods ready up then i think this might be the perfect time just to go for the hydro rocket pods as we can here he's gonna tower boost it against the against that yellow rush which is definitely definitely unfortunate so that's okay though uh, right now we're gonna go ahead and go for another powerful dodge just to be safe because there's like a little bit of sets of the yellows that are gonna go through on my side but that's good to know um and yeah so we're about to save up to go for the hydro rocket pots once again here so once we save up then i think this might be the perfect time just to go ahead and go for the better defense as we can here so once we get the hydro rocket pods ready then we are going to be good with it so once we get the hydro rocket pods up then i think we're going to be good with it so there we go with the hydro rocket pods perfection and then after that though we're going to send it with some yellow rushes well not yellow rushes but i'm going to send it with some yellow eco for the fun so hopefully that's okay for you guys uh but this guy went for the hydro rocket pods on his side so well done well done, Mr. Kim um, Sayroy. I don't know how you say his name, but that's his name, by the way. Um, 
right now we're gonna keep on equally with some full yellows of course because i know the matter of fact that the sniper don't forget guys sniper costs like 5800 and also the cooldown will be 10 to 20 seconds so don't forget you need to eco like a little bit a bit hardcore so once you have 2000 eco or go for the i don't know what you say or go for 2000 or 3000 eco or more then you might want to go ahead and get a lot of better defense as you can here and also this guy worked for a farm on his side and also this guy didn't place down the bedroom which is definitely pretty important though because when well, you need to go for the bedroom you want to place some bedroom on round one or round two because i think when you go darling you cannot go for round one bed you might want to go ahead and go for round two uh bedroom because people does that all the time when you actually go for round one um round one bedroom i think you might want to go ahead and go for the round two benjamin before round three comes out so i'm pretty sure i might be wrong here so i don't think i have not been using benjamin here for a long minute though but yeah i never been using the hero a lot recently but i know people have been using ben like a lot recently like they go tag for wizard they go something else like that it is the only way they want to go ahead and go for the better defense as you can here so yeah by the way too guys i know i'm not allowed to use the totems yet because apparently if i use the totems on round something like let's just say if i use the totems a level 7 ability then i will lose 10 lives and this guy will be ahead of lives though so this is definitely not going to be as a good way so right now we're going to go ahead and start going for the supply drop right about now but anyway this guy has a super monkey on his side and it is round 22 by the way so good thing we got a better advantage here with the strategy because i know i have never used darling sniper ninja as of before so right about now i think the better way we want to go ahead and go for a lot of better defense for round 26 is going to be the ddt popping power because we definitely need to go ahead and go for the for the main mob because main mob can easily help out by dealing those stuffs here because i know the main mob can easily help out so right now we're about to save up to go for the main mob as we can here so right now we need to stop equipping before the round ends because i know my sign performers are completely terrible so that's why i know my sign performers are not as good to be honest so that's why i need to go ahead and go for the elite sniper as we can so once we get the elite sniper up then we are going to be good you with it so we're about to save it to go for elite sniper i think we're about to go for it right now so there we go with the elite sniper perfect and then after that we're gonna keep on sniper farming as we can here so i know my sniper farms are completely terrible i apologize about this but the sniper farms are definitely going to be quite worse here so we have to be really careful with the with any sort of amount of rushes like if you send me like a four to five bad rushes or something in the earliest round around 30 then we got to be really careful with the all out uh fortified bats and in, in any sort of amount of rounds here so right about now we're going to go ahead and go for the we're going to use the ability for the for the supply drop i almost accidentally clicked the ability for the level 7 totems that's why i'm not going to be doing it guys because if i do that then he's going to be having a life advantage here which is definitely not going to be as good so right now i'm going to go ahead and use my ability once again here and also don't forget we got to watch out for the for the ddts because ddts is definitely going to be quite deadly here so we're going to go ahead and go for the main mob as we can here so once we get the main mob up then we are going to be good with it as well so there we go with the main moa perfect um and then after that i'm going to keep on sniper farming as we can i need to place another sniper there's like no space this is not good all right so it's round 28 by the way and also we got to watch out for the ddt's if you decide to send me with some all-out rushes with ddt's in there then we got to watch out for the all-out as well so right about now we're going to go ahead and start building a lot of sniper farms as we can here so once we got a lot of sniper farms up then i think we are going to be good with that and also the problem is though guys i don't think we're not gonna have enough money just to go ahead and go for the mad because the mad is way too expensive though it is now 68k so it's definitely going to be quite hard just to afford the mad so once we get the mad up for everything then i think we are going to be good with it as well so i'm not too sure if this guy knows what he's up to so we have to be really careful with the with the mad rushes or something well not the mad but the bad rushes i need to watch out for so we're gonna go ahead and continue building sniper farms as we can here so once we got a lot of them though on the screen then we're gonna have a lot of money from building a lot of sniper farms instead uh, but this guy went for the dark champion on his side oh wow dark champion on round 29 i don't know how much eco did he save here oh yeah because he was ecoing the whole time oh that's why okay that definitely makes sense because i know people have been mixed ecoing a lot in these rounds easily so I understand my part because I know people have been space ecoing, well, mixed ecoing or something because I know they're mixed ecoing a lot recently because once you mix ecoing a lot, then you might want to have a lot of money just to get a lot, a ton of banana farms all over the map very, very quickly because I know when you're trying to mix eco all the way to the 30k, well, not 30k, but all the way to 3k, 5k plus or more, you might want to have a lot of banana farms to get more money in there. 
So that way we have a lot of money just to go ahead and get a lot of better defense as you can. So we're going to go ahead and start building another sniper farm. I think we need to get a lot of them just in case here. Um, so we have a lot of sniper farms as we can here. So once we get a lot of them, then we're going to have a lot of better defense on my side. Because I know we definitely need to get a lot of ninja stuff all over the entire map or something. But we definitely need a lot of Ben just to make it clarify, all right? All right, so since we got the ninja stuff for the better defense, we need to go for the sticky bomb right about now. So there we go with the sticky bomb, of course. Right about now, we got up to the better. I think we got times nine. Yeah, we got times nine. Okay, we're going to go ahead and build another shinobi buff right about now. If we can place it down on our shinobi. Alright, this is the last Shinobi buff for this upgrade for the Master Bomber. So there we go with the Master Bomber buffs. Perfection. Anyway, we got up to the MAD and it's round 37, by the way. I know I skipped the whole round off video. I apologize about this because I know, guys, my commentary is definitely quite terrible. I always get worse live comms in the game here because I kept, like, pausing, like, talking or whatever the case may be. But hopefully this won't happen again, though, because I'm trying to go for the try to get a lot of sniper defense as we can here so right now we're going to go ahead start building a couple more snipers as we can and as you may know that guys i might be able to go ahead and go for the best because the best will help will actually help out so once we get so many bets up for everything then i think we're gonna have a lot of money from getting a lot of money just to get this heads up so right now we're going to go ahead and go for this upgrade to the best there we go with the best upgrade there we go with that i don't know if you guys rather go ahead and put it on normal or put it on the target dependent because i rather put, uh, put it down on the target dependent here which is definitely pretty good news here so i rather place it down on only for the target dependent which is definitely pretty good news so right about now we're going to go ahead and start building a lot of the sniper farms and also don't forget this guy i don't know if this guy will rush me in the next round because if he decides to rush me with this round of course then we're going to go ahead and start uh try to go ahead and get so many sniper farms as we can so i'm going to keep on egoing a little bit too hard actually so let's try to let's try to go ahead and start uh start using all the supply drops ability plus with the elite sniper so we have a lot of money just to be safe here so holy cow that's a lot of the sniper farms that we have here holy all right, let's go ahead and start building a lot of sniper farms as we can. So once we get so many sniper farms, then I think this might be the better way just to uh, just to have a lot of money, just to get so much money the heads up here. Also, we might be able to go for the cripple because I know the cripple has a lot of extra damage here. So that way we need to go for the cripple upgrade. So there we go with that. Um, so right now we're going to go ahead and start, um, start building up a couple more... Um, you know, we're going to build up a lot of a better defense for the sniper. So once we get so much sniper stuff for everything, that I think this might be the better way just to get so many sniper farms all over the entire map. So once we get so much sniper farms, then this might be pretty intense here. So hopefully we got a lot of money just to, just to spare it off. So hopefully that's okay. And it's round 39, by the way. And also, yep, it is almost time for round 40 because if it's round 40 comes out then it's going to be like all the way to sun and death here so we're going to go ahead and go for this upgrade this will be the ray of doom by the way so we're going to go ahead and start um start building up the ray of doom so once we get the ray of doom up for everything then i think this might be the perfect chance just to go ahead and go for the ray of doom so there we go with the ray of doom for the darn gunner there we go with that also the main thing is we need to go for the grandmaster ninja because grandmaster ninja is the only way that we need to help out with it so we're gonna go ahead and start building a lot of ninjas instead so once we get so much ninjas up then we're gonna go ahead and start building a couple more uh, grandmaster ninja so we're gonna go ahead and start building a lot of the ninja spams also this will be this will be removed here so that we need to we need to make sure we need some space so we could go for the Grandmaster Ninja right about now. So once we get the Grandmaster Ninja up, then we're going to be Gucci with it. And it's round 40, by the way. So we're going to go ahead and start building a Grandmaster Ninja right about now. And then once we get a lot of Grandmaster Ninja up, then we're going to go ahead and start Shinobi buff everything. So once we get so many Shinobi buffs up, then I think this might be the better way just to go all the way to the better max here. So it's round 41, by the way. We're on the Sun and Death, by the way. So it's going to be quite intense here. So we're going to go ahead and start building a lot of the grand, uh, Shinobi buffs, I meant to say. But we got up to the times 10. We got both times 10 for every sort of amount of the ninja. So that's definitely pretty good news here. So right now, we're going to go ahead and go for this upgrade to the Elite Defender. Because I think Elite Defender could easily help out. So I'm gonna think I'm going to try to go ahead and start building a lot of the better defense up to the uh, up to the automatic rifle. Hopefully, that's okay for you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and go for a couple more rifles here. Perfect. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and use every sort of amount of the ability for every single amount of the supply drop ability. So there we go with that. And we have 106k per, per money by going for a supply drop. That's a lot of money, man. 
Holy cow. Okay. All right. Enough with that. We're going to go ahead and start building a couple more uh, denial system if we need to get so much money in case. So once we get the denial system up, then I think we're going to go ahead and start... Um, start building a couple more denial system instead i'm not too sure if this guy will rush me on round 50 because i'm not too sure if he'll rush me because if he decides to rush me um with the rushes of course then i think we're gonna try our best just to try to go ahead and start um start building a lot of the better defense as we can here so once we get so much better darling gunner defense or something then this might be the better way just to get so much money for the better start so we're gonna go ahead and start building a lot of the better defense up to the main moab and then once we get that then we're gonna go ahead and use all the my supply drop abilities as we can here. There we go with a lot of supply drops. Oh my god, that's way too loud, man. Holy cow. That is a lot of the sniper abilities. Jesus Christ. Alright, so it's almost round 50, by the way. So we need to go ahead and start uh, selling my sniper farms because we definitely need to make sure that we have a lot of money just to get a lot of better defense as we can here. So let's go ahead and start uh, selling everything that we need to because we definitely need a lot of a lot of money just to take a clarify here because i know we do have a lot of money just to get this heads up and this guy have a lot of money he has a lot of factories on his side so it's going to be quite tricky because i know we don't have enough defense for every sort amount of the timing so once we get a lot of them then i think this might be the better way just to get this heads up and it's round 49 we need to get a lot of darn gunner fast immediately because i know um the rounds will be coming up soon because i need to go ahead and get so many defense as we can here and yep we are struggling right now so i'm going to use my sabo just to be safe um, this might be pretty bad because I know he might rush me in the next round because if he doesn't rush me Then I don't think this is not perfect just to get this heads up. Hopefully that's okay. Oh, here comes a rush. Oh, no Um, let's go ahead and rush him right now and okay. That was just 145 bad. Okay. Well, that's not good for now on I'm just gonna have to tower boost it just to um, Just to be safe here. I don't know what the heck am I doing, but it is not pumping the fortify for some reason Oh, no, this is not as good uh, I need to use my level, um, level 20 Exili. Oh, no, I'm dead here. I think I'm dead. Unless. Wait. Come on. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, we're dead. Oh, he linked down. Oh, the Legend of the Night got him. Okay, I forgot the Legend of the Night has a portal just to, um, <laughs> just to suck those EDTs in. Oh, my God. That was so close. I thought I lost her, to be honest, but I thought I won here, guys. But no, this guy has the Legend of the Night on his side, but he ended up winning that game. So that strategy won't go far during late game because I don't think Darling Sniper Ninja isn't that good during round 50 rounds with 4 to 5 bats in it. But I don't know why this guy is sending me a rush, but just wanted to test it out with the rushes as well and see how good it's going to be. But that strategy won't be as good, though. I mean, if I do have the... The plasma accelerator or something i think we could easily defend it though by getting so much better defense for the plasma accelerator but i don't know man but that's a gg right in my book here so that is all for you guys for today's video i hope you guys do in fact enjoy though if you guys have not sub please consider subscribing and also make sure you smash the like button if you enjoyed the video and i will catch you guys in the next one and peace everybody